new and very expensive dessert diva music. <laughs> Of course, here we are in November, the holidays right around the corner. What better way to add a little fall to dessert than with the taste of pumpkin? Our dessert diva, Danette Randall, live in the studio this morning. Spiced cupcakes with pumpkin frosting. Yeah, what do you think? Well, I can't wait to learn how to make the pumpkin frosting. I'm very excited to... Tom that's... Green, he's mad we're not making the frosting. We're making the cupcakes. The frosting's simple, and you really think we can get through two things? No. No, we can hardly get through one, but we're not making pumpkin <laughs> frosting today? Well, I'm going to tell you how to do it. Okay. This is good, though, the spiced cake. Better now, going. we're going to do pumpkin all month. You remember the fanfare last year? Oh. Oh, my wow. gosh. The phones were oh. burning oh. up. Yes. Please bring her back on for more pumpkin. Anyway, it's really when good. So, never. Okay. We're just, I'm making it up. All right. Right here, cup of butter. Cup of butter. Soften butter, 350 degrees. Now, before you make these, I want, you know, just use the basic little cupcake liners put them in let's make about 18 to 24 cupcakes spray the top with pam just in case the one liners? happens to go over once you put them in just spray the whole thing, the whole, thing okay. mm -hmm, the whole thing so what i have here is the butter like i said i've got a cup and three quarters of sugar i'm just going to go ahead and put that in there butter and sugar butter and sugar i'm telling you you're going to love these i'm sure i am they smell great the ones that are made well yeah the ones that are made you're just going to beat this up just you know what i love the smell of that pumpkin frosting is that right well you know, I should have made the pumpkin frosting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, that's now? my bad. I've got two teaspoons of vanilla. Right. I'm just going to beat this up really fast. Okay. Okay. Now, this is such a nice, this is a, another simple dessert, as they all are, something you can make with the kids. Yeah. And not everyone loves pumpkin pie. That's why I try to, during the month of November, Tom, make desserts with pumpkin. Okay. So it's not pumpkin pie. What I have here, okay, you ready yes, for this? Yes, I've got... Two and three quarters cup flour. I've got uh, a teaspoon baking powder, half teaspoon salt, and then I've got the allspice and the pumpkin, which is what makes it spicy. Okay. Okay? Now, you can add more if you want. You can add more if you want. So you're just going to set that aside, make this. I should have done this first. Set it right. aside. We're going to put the eggs in now. So okay. I'm going to do one, you do one. I okay. brought you a moist towelette. So, because okay. you're a baby. So no, you're not. And these you're other not. two going? Yeah, go ahead. Now you're going to... Put one in, okay. beat it up. You don't want you want to do a little bit after each. Go ahead, another okay. one. All right. Good job. Now, one thing that's important. See, I have the moist towel for you. Right. I am such a good dessert diva. Because of my whining. Now, what we're gonna do is put in a cup of milk right. and our dry ingredients. We're gonna alternate this because you don't want to put the flour all in at one time. It's gonna seize it. You want to make sure that the moisture wet, soaks dry, it wet, up. Dry exactly. kind of thing. Okay. So we're gonna do this in a few parts. So just gonna do a little bit of milk, just a little, a so little bit gonna, more flour. But a total of a cup of milk. And what you exactly? For the people who measure. For the people. Well, I measure, but we, you know, I got it. I know it's in my head. A little bit more. We'd already done about a half a cup, so now we're going to do more. Okay. Okay. Now you're just going to beat this up until it's obvious. Oh, I got okay. a little bit on you. You always do. No, I didn't. Now, the trick to this... Here's the trick. You want to make sure it's very well incorporated, but you do not want to overbeat it. Over Especially here in... Colorado, where we have the altitude and stuff, you want to make sure that the bubbles, you know, stay in there. You want to make sure that everything's good. What you're going to do is just obviously Dollop put these it out. in about three quarters way full. Cook 20 to 25 minutes. They're okay. going to be perfect. Now the frosting, again, it is just. <laughs> Why are you laughing? The frosting. Well, ahead, I know. I'm sorry. It. Okay, it's just your basic buttercream frosting, which I would know. be what? Butter. Buttercream. Powdered sugar, Yeah. but what we're doing is we're cutting the butter in half and we're putting pumpkin in. So you're going to do a half a cup of pumpkin, not the pumpkin pie scaling, but the real pumpkin right. in the can, but right. the real pumpkin, and then a little bit of cinnamon in that. Then you're going to beat that up, and it's simple. And, and this is what you end up with? Well, yeah. Oh, the little guy fell off the pumpkin. Well, we but, yeah, all you're going to do is make sure that your cupcakes are completely cooled. Yes, okay? yes. Let me see if you can get that to stay. Completely now, cool? Now, I just yeah. completely cool before okay. you frost. Uh -huh. Oh, good job, Tom. Just going to dollop the frosting on, and then yeah. I sprinkled it with just a little bit of cinnamon, and they're really delicious. The, the pumpkin frosting brings out the spice cake, and oh, you're going to love it. I'll say. Well, the recipe, as always, is on the website at kwgn.com slash dessert diva. Yes. So thank you very much. Thank you, Tom. Taste test in just a couple minutes. Right now, though, time for weather and traffic. Go over to Angie. Enjoy the nice weather. Yes. You know as a dude how to make that sticky? Use the icing like spackle. You turn it upside down and stick it to the top of the pumpkin. You know, when I thought about turning it upside down and sticking it, I thought about the pain in my right ear when Danette's fist. <laughs>
came <laughs> came crashing into it. And I thought, you know what? I think I'll just let it be. <laughs> let it be. Yeah. Good one. <laughs> All right, guys. It's still uh, beautiful out here in the New Two Gardens. We still have the nice fall color.